What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been around for very long, you know uh, a lot of what we do is mobile home, manufactured housing, flipping and, and renovating, that sort of thing. And I know a lot of you have reached out and wondered about us working for you guys and wondering, can we help you with your projects? Most of the time it hasn't worked out because you know, we're all over the country and we're, we're based out of Portland, Oregon, but we got a cool one starting today. It was somebody that reached out, a subscriber reached out, Kim and Esty. After looking at their project and kind of going back and forth, we uh, found some stuff that needed to be fixed and, uh, and they're having us start on that today. So uh, today is demo day and I just wanted to bring you guys along and give you a quick tour of what we're doing. Get a chat with you guys, meet somebody from YouTube and get to work on someone's home. So this will be a little bit different because um, Justine won't be doing the design work um, since we're working for someone. It's not exactly like our normal flips. We're gonna bring you along anyway. I think it's gonna be a really fun project. It's kind of turned into more than they bargained for because it looks like we're gonna need a new kitchen, uh, all new floors, paint, deck. It's gonna be it's gonna be quite a bit. Not too much outside. It'll be mostly interior work. But uh, I just wanted to bring you guys along and uh, let's go check it out. <laughs> Tell the world, don't stress it, your life is a blessing Don't be a slave to the workforce because time is the essence And no matter how rich you get, we well, here's a lesson Not a penny that you made is gonna go with you to heaven Sometimes I thank God I even have a gift at all But what's the gift if I forgive to even give it all? I just crystal ball and say I'll be remembered for the truth I speak Now get involved Hey, and before we get started with this video, if you could give us a like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're going to be posting a lot more uh, going forward. We're really trying to uh, do a lot of YouTube and social media stuff, keep you guys updated on where we're at. As you may have noticed, we we uh, took a quite a hiatus during the pandemic. Didn't really update YouTube a lot, but we're gonna we're gonna be doing a lot more consistent content, just pushing stuff out that you guys like and enjoy. You can always jump over to Instagram. We do a lot of polls and different questions as far as what kind of content you'd like to see on our YouTube channel. We're happy to, uh, we're happy to, we love to interact with you guys and all that stuff. So uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you uh, you see as we're starting to put out more and more, more and more videos going forward. So here we are. We uh, got our big trailer out here getting started. It's a beautiful spring day in Portland. So this is the first thing we're going to work on is uh, we're going to be replacing this deck fully. We're actually going to tear out the entire deck and the and the um, ramp and everything and rebuild that from scratch. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see uh, a video on that. The walls, you'll notice it's kind of washed out a little bit, but the walls are green. The hallway walls are a little more blue. We've got some old carpeting. All that's going to come out. They actually are removing the... Uh, fireplace so we're gonna get that gone and then the sheet rocker will come in they're gonna replace all doors guys are in there working on getting the carpet up this was the part that's a um, big surprise of the project don't mind the cabinet we just uh, we've already started demoing but what we found there was uh, some flooring you see here the that we had some flooring down that um, was swollen and as soon as I walked in I noticed that there was some kind of water leak going on come to find out the kid has to get word told by their inspector their inspector completely missed it turns out it was a significant water leak as you can see we've got all kinds of subfloor damage we had black mold in the wall we're gonna have to replace the insulation we actually may have to work on some I mean clearly we're gonna have to work on some framing as well so it's pretty extensive water damage i will say as you're getting into these homes make sure that you're doing your own walkthrough kind of seeing what you see because um inspectors miss stuff and unfortunately they typically make you sign a little document that says they're not liable for it and so you're uh, they had an un unwelcome surprise but on the bright side we will be getting a brand new kitchen. So we're, today is demo, we're gonna be ripping out all the kitchen. Backsplash, uppers, lowers, the whole deal. We're gonna upgrade these, uh, these lights. So the gold lights, the gold lights are on their way out. We're gonna update all the base trim. We're gonna update all the base trim around all the windows. Take out this floor. 
Gonna put in brand new front and back door. Gonna get rid of that. And uh, let's see, what else are we doing? Say hi, TJ. Hey, hey. Let's turn it the master. Master closet, we're gonna, it looks like we may have had damage here as well at some point in the past with uh, some brand new sheetrock. Again, we may have some water damage down here that, 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 we'll need to, that we'll need to work on. Coming back into the living room, like I said, all the carpet's going. We're gonna have it repainted. Uh, here's the front door. We're gonna replace the front door and the security door. What we're gonna do is frame in this doorway here and make that a solid wall for a, kind of an entryway, maybe a vanity, or not a vanity, a cabinet of some sort with a, a mirror or something like that. Maybe what they go with. And then on this bathroom, the second bathroom, there's no real reason for this pass through. So uh, they decided they're gonna close up that door, make the laundry room on the other side its own room, and this will be just a, a half bath. New doors in all the rooms, and as is common with mobile homes, um, basically we don't have, we have our light switch going to a plug, uh, which is pretty uh, unorthodox, but it's very common for mobile homes, so we're gonna be adding in uh, fans in all the bedrooms to, to bring it back up to date. Uh, Sheetrock. The previous owners left some uh, some good sized holes in the wall, uh, so we'll be repairing all that kind of good stuff. And uh, we're actually this is going to be a, a room that's not a not a, used as a bedroom, so going to remove all of the uh, shelving in this in this <clears throat> in this bedroom, along with this last bedroom. It's going to be a nice repaint with a couple of. Uh, couple of coats to get rid of this nice deep red. The carpet's already been pulled. This is the uh, the pad left over. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at. So going back to this main issue here, um, the unfortunate thing is the, the leak has gone on so long that we're actually gonna need to step outside <clears throat> to see it. The leak has happened so long that it's now messed up the siding as well. So if you remember kitchens right here, this is where the water leak is. There was quite a bit and you can already see. This is soft, this is soft. This is actually very soft. We've been pressing on that. So, so it'll require a couple sheets of T111 out here. Possibly reframe some of the uh, inner wrap. May potentially have to replace uh, the T111 and a couple of the two by six framing joists. And so we'll have to we'll have to look into that um, and just see what we find. Hopefully we're gonna minimize that as much as we can. It looks like it's probably two or three, maybe four um, sheets of subfloor, but likely all the insulation is, is damaged. So. Uh, again, as you're walking your homes, you can't always rely on the inspector to catch everything. They're, uh, you know, they miss things, and unfortunately, most of the time, they're not gonna, they're not gonna come back and acknowledge what they've missed. So make sure you get uh, an inspector with references, somebody that will be your advocate. One thing I would suggest, uh, I think this inspector came from the seller's realtor as a as a recommendation i would never go with anything that the seller uh, anybody associated with the seller uh, to protect yourself you need to find a neutral party who's not tied to the seller because at times not everyone you know you don't want to accuse anyone but the seller is trying to sell the home so if you're get, taking an inspector from the seller's agent it's a very likely possibility they've worked together before he's doing her a favor uh, he's doing them a favor or whatever the case may be so um, i would just suggest going out finding your own inspector getting references making sure that that inspector's uh, knowledgeable and they'll look out for your interests So yeah, that's gonna be our quick walkthrough. Basically what we're looking at, probably a two to four week project, um, kind of depends. We'll have to take care of that plumbing leak. Right now we have the water all turned off so that no further damage is happening. Today's demo day, so we're going to um, just take out 
everything we, we can. Probably gonna get kills all over the floor as far as like just locking in smell and anything else that may be there, as well as repairing some of that sub floor. The homeowners have already grabbed the, the flooring they need, so we have that. You'll see as we as we go along, a few more videos, we'll track this project and, uh, and update you guys. And uh, comment below what you would do if we were to help you with your house. Uh, we're always willing, if you're in the Portland area, reach out, we're always willing to, to look at your projects and see, see what you got for us. We're super excited finally getting to work with a subscriber for the first time. So yeah, just give us a comment, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe because we're gonna be updating this project and be a lot more active right now on YouTube. And so we'd love for you to join us, follow along. See you next time.